Good morning, another week, another vlog. The contractors are not coming today, which is kind of a good and bad thing. I don't want to get into all that. Um, nothing too terrible. It's not like they're fired or anything. Um, but maybe that's something to catch you up on later. So today I'm going to do a lot of cooking. I already did make us breakfast, made us some chocolate chip pancakes. Um, and then I'm about to start our dinner. I'm going to make a crock pot jambalaya. I will link the recipe down below. I won't get into full detail when I'm making it because I got a full video on it. Go watch the video. Um, and then for lunch, I'm going to make a minestrone. I haven't made this particular minestrone before. Um, so I will let you know how it is. But I mean, a lot of minestrones are basically the same, right? So I'm not thinking this is going to be anything that different than any other minestrone I've made. But I will let you know how it is. I do want to get some stuff done outside today. And the one thing I need to tackle is the little garden and greenhouse. Need to cut all that down and throw all that away. So not that relaxing of a day which is okay. Chris will be painting the bathroom later. They did get all the drywall up this week, but basically that's it. So there was like three wasted days where they didn't even do anything. So it's a little frustrating and every day they're not here. Every day they like send this one kid over to like do something. I, I don't know. It's just, mm, I feel like other jobs are being prioritized right now, which is really frustrating. So we were like, we'll paint. We will paint this weekend. That way you guys can come in and tile. Like we're in like the home stretch. They were basically supposed to be done by today. This was basically like the sixth week mark. They said the bathroom would take between four to six weeks. So we're at six weeks. Uh, I, I get there was a couple delays or whatever. So let's just say next week. Let's just say next Friday they should be done, right? But there's no way. That's not going to happen. So it's it's just getting a little frustrating, especially when they didn't even come and really do anything three days this week. <laughs> so uh, it's just it's we're we're over it at this point. So now we have to paint and I think Chris has actually volunteered himself and letting me off the hook a little bit because that's a small bathroom, you know, so I'm going to get my butt moving, get these, get this food going and then head outside to work on the little garden greenhouse. Here is the current situation on my crock pot jambalaya. I have not started it yet. I did do a whole YouTube video on this recipe, I will link it down below. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop this lid on and let this cook for seven and a half hours and then put the shrimp in and let that cook for the last half hour. But this will be dinner. I will add some rice, just this easy 90 second rice. But this is gonna be a fantastic dinner for this cold fall evening. I have all my ingredients out for my lunch today or our lunch today. I'm going to make some minestrone. This bad boy came in to save the day again. You saw me use it in my last video, but this vegetable chopper is the shit. I have all the vegetables chopped in here and they all fit, which is just amazing. I freaking love this thing. I will link it below again if you did not see my last video. So I will be starting on lunch shortly. Uh, but this has been my morning so far, and actually I'm having a lot of fun. Okay, it's time to make the minestrone. I'm actually going to cook out of my little pumpkin Dutch oven. I have not cooked out of it yet this year, so I went ahead and heated it up. I'm going to add all my vegetables and let this soften and cook for about eight minutes. All right, now that this has been cooking for about eight minutes and the vegetables are softened. I'm going to add everything else. I did add some salt and pepper in here, by the way, but now I'm going to add some garlic, some thyme. What else I have? Thyme, oregano, two bay leaves, red pepper flakes, vegetable broth, 28 ounce can of diced tomatoes, kidney beans, and green beans. 
I'm gonna give this a quick stir. Then I'm gonna turn my stove up, bring it to a simmer for 20 minutes and let it cook. Now that this has been simmering for 20 minutes, ooh, this is heavy. <laughs> I'm gonna drop in three fourths cup of this kind of pasta. You could probably use even elbow macaroni if you want, but I'm gonna put this in and then let that cook for 10 minutes uncovered. All right, so here's what it looks like done. I just added some shredded Parmesan cheese on it. I did a little taste test, added some more salt and pepper. It's pretty good. I think if you're looking to try a new minestrone recipe, you should give it a shot. Now I'm going to devour this and watch some TV before I have to start on some chores around the house. All right, y'all, this is the current situation behind me with the greenhouse. We had horrible winds, a horrible storm come in a week or two ago, blew everything over. Everything just fell over and we're like, well, the cold's coming, overnight freezes are coming. Basically lost all of our, all of our tomatoes, so we were like, screw it. Um, but the goal is to get out here and cut all this down and throw it away. It's kind of sad. We had a pretty good first year, but next year's gonna be even better. So let me get, let me get going on this. Out behind the cars Tonight we're gonna do something different That was the easy part. <laughs> it seems like everything just came out really fast. This is what's gonna be the bitch to do. You will make something more delicious So what I'm running into is here, we have this, um, I don't even know, like this twine, this wire type stuff where the tomato vines would wrap around them. So they are not coming out easy at all at this point. I'm going to have to get in here and cut all of them, somehow unwind them. This is gonna take a while, wish me luck. So I'm almost done in here. I wanna get the plants out from, or off the porch, they're all dead, and maybe take the leaf blower to it. Oh, there goes one of my chickens up on the fence. Oh, she just got down, of course she did, as soon as I got on the camera. Um, so yeah, let me go and get my um, dead plants from my porch. For those of you that have been watching me for years, you know how many trees we have in our yard. When we first moved in on this property, we got nine trees cut down. The leaf situation on this property is psychotic and we haven't even started. Like if you look over here, I mean, it's just covered. If you look back here, I mean, there's just leaves everywhere, everywhere. This is it. I mean, it's, it's crazy how many leaves we have and this is all over the property we have five acres all over the property yeah leaves everywhere so that's something that's gonna have to be tackled another day and it's such work such work to get these leaves taken care of wow i've never looked better i want to get all these hanging plants out i already got a couple out of the planter but they are dead it is cold it's already been freezing below freezing here in good old Ohio, so I'm gonna get on that. So I'm gonna keep these. These are amazing at keeping your plants hydrated through the summer. They're kind of expensive too. So I'm definitely keeping these. Okay, so I moved the camera way back. I'm going to attempt to blow some of these leaves even though the wind is 
atrocious at the moment, but I'm just gonna try and do some leaf blowing. It's desperately needed. Oh my god, I kicked my own ass. I was out there for almost two hours blowing leaves. My back is killing me. I finally got a shower, did all my skincare. I look very shiny. I still want to add some Vaseline under my eyes. I've been doing that lately and I love the way it hydrates underneath of my eyes and like over here. It's amazing. So now it's time to add the shrimp to the crock pot. This is um cooked shrimp i think you're supposed to add frozen cooked shrimp so basically you just need to heat this up that's all i'm really trying to do at this point this is what it looks like right now i'm gonna go ahead and add the shrimp in stir it and then it'll be done when that shrimp is heated chris is currently painting and he's not very happy about it <laughs> which I don't blame him, but he's playing music and I don't want to get demonetized. So I will show you what it looks like when he's done painting. And uh, yeah, once this is done, I'm going to add the rice and then we're going to eat and relax. We, we both got our asses handed to us today. So that's what's going to be done. Okay, here is what Chris did, the ceiling. All the walls, just white. We're just doing white for the moment. But he did a good job. He'll do another coat tomorrow. Easy peasy. And the jambalaya is done. I did add the rice. I'm going to let it cool down a little bit because it is really, really hot. But again, try this recipe. It is amazing. Good morning. It is quite chilly out. So, because it is getting cold and very cold, actually, um, we like to wrap our chicken run. Not the whole thing, just for ammonia purposes, but last year what we did is just wrap this side along with right here, too. Uh, that way, it kept the wind out. That's what really um, puts chickens in quite a predicament is the cold wind blowing in on them. Our wind comes from, I think it, shoot, I, I mentioned this last year in my video when I did a full video on this, but I think it swoops in coming this way, um, which is why we like to block this side off too, along with this side. Um, but we keep the front open, which is nice. And again, it worked perfectly last year because even when I would stand in the run, it was, I could tell it was warmer than being outside of the run. So I'm gonna attempt to do this by myself, wish me luck. My husband is inside putting on the second coat of paint in the bathroom. So we have some chores to do today around the house, but this is the first thing I'm gonna attempt to do by myself today. So wish me luck again. This chore for today is done by me. Now, see, the thing is, he's gonna bitch about it, watch. But check 
this off our checklist today. Boom. Okay, so this is why I should never be unsupervised because I did the chicken run wrong, which I said I would and that he would bitch about it. That's exactly what I said. <laughs> and I did it wrong. No, he wasn't. He wasn't bitching. Um, we did little like furring strips or something last year because, oh God, because it ripped it right off. So that first we tried staples and the plastic came right off. So yeah, screws, staples don't work. Um, we're going to have to go back down there and put the boards on, which is fine. It's not that big of a deal. But I had a feeling I was doing something wrong. <laughs> so now we're going to take the pond fountain out, which is kind of a bitch to do. So hopefully you can see the string right here in the pond. Um, it goes all the way across to that side. So I'm going to have to go to that side and untie it. And then he's going to be pulling the fountain. And then we're going to store it in our three bay. Last year we stored it in our basement and it was a freaking nightmare to get it down there. So this year we're going to try and store it in our three bay. And a couple weeks ago we cut down all these cattails that were across the pond here. You can still see them over here. So we have to finish cutting those down. They're so invasive. Um, so they, they give great privacy, which is nice to the neighbors over there. Um, but they got to come down. So first the pond fountain and then cutting the cattails. I'm like ready to work. And then I look over here and he's fishing right there. He's fishing while I'm standing here waiting to work. Hi, Chris. So there's an electrical cord. So as I'm pulling in, he has to kind of line up with me to bring it in. So that electrical cord doesn't get caught on anything. So there's a little bit of teamwork involved. As we're pulling it in, there's fish that are getting caught in like that stuff. So we're trying to pull all the fish out. Now he's just pulling the electrical cord in. He will pull the tractor up, then we gotta put it in the bucket. do when we get our iced coffees <laughs> we are currently heading to home goods I want to get some stuff for my fall tablescape I'm hoping to film it because we are having a couple couple people over before Thanksgiving so I did a Christmas one a year or two ago actually last year that I absolutely loved so I'm thinking about doing a video like that but for fall I have an idea in my little brain of what I want to do. I ordered some stuff today, but want to make it more affordable. So I'm heading to Home Goods to see what I can find. And then Chris wants to go watch a little bit of college football. And then tonight we saw that a food truck that we've been dying to try is up at a bar by our house. It's called like Cousins Maine Lobster, Cousins Maine but they have lobster rolls that we've been dying to try. So I think that's what's gonna be dinner. So we're about to be in home goods and keep your fingers crossed for me that I find some good stuff. What is that? I wanna see how big they are, these napkins.
They're like big and square. Oh, those are napkins. Yeah. I'm trying to think what I did last year. Oh, wait. I think we did like this. I remember then I put my thing on it. I think these will work. We got lobster tater tots. Look at that big ass claw. Holy mother. This is one. And then we both got Connecticut. Hold on. Connecticut style lobster rolls. Ooh, snap. This is the warm one. So we are going to devour these. Just to update on this, we're adding these furring strips with the nail gun. This is what I didn't remember and could not do by myself anyway, but super easy in that way. If, well, when the wind blows, it will not blow the plastic off because staples do not work. And now I remember nails and screws do not work. So this is what ended up working. Starting the day off with a good old shotgun of a White Claw. <laughs> this has been a while. <laughs> Don't break a nail. I feel like I am. Oh God. Hold on, I got it. I oh think. boy, this is gonna go south quick. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Get it on your mouth. Hold on. That's what she said. Oh God. Go, 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 go. Oh my God, it's so fucking cold. <laughs> Oh, hooray! <laughs> oh, oh, there's still some left. Now it's gone. All right. Hey, go, 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 go. These guys are from Canada and they come down to one stadium a year. How do you feel about the Bengals? I'm going to tell you. That's awesome. Are you trying to tell me what you're doing? No. It was a great tailgate. Who's your favorite tailgate? Bengals. Bengals. You guys should remember her. Well, it is currently at 5.23 the next day. I didn't vlog much at the tailgate. I don't even know if I told you guys we were even going tailgating. Um, but yeah, we went tailgating yesterday and we won, went out and partied far too long, far too late. Took it easy today. Picked up my car, picked up Chris's truck, uh, and then slept till like 4.30 this afternoon. But now we are out deciding if we want to get Korean food or Thai food. We're parked in the middle of both restaurants and we can't I decide. Can't decide. We oh, can't decide man. which one we want. Uh, so I'm waiting for him to decide. What do you think? Ready? Let's say it on the count of three. Which one? Oh boy. Wait, does that place have curry? No. Is that? I can't really. They got the much. hot pot. Remember where you put? You can yeah. get the soup, and it's you cook your own at at your table. Remember they bring them. They just yeah. keep bringing it out. Yeah. Okay, we'll say it at the count of three. You're gonna say it on three. Yeah. Right, okay, either say Thai or Korean. Korean. Okay. One, two, three. Korean. Thai. Oh my god! Uh, let's get Korean. We're getting Korean. Uh, what? Uh,